Welcome to the third annual Salute to New York City Nonprofits and the Neighborhoods They Serve. The Neighborhood Technical Assistance Clinic now enters its 13th year dedicated to improving the delivery of community and faith-based social services and is proud to work with all who've gathered tonight in cultivating philanthropy and grant making directly to service-starved neighborhoods and communities, not only to five boroughs in New York City, but internationally as well. This year, we've expanded our signature programs that have made our work so effective. Our donor dialogues between profits and nonprofits occurred in all five boroughs to even wider audiences, thanks to the endorsements of all the borough presidents. Our women's black clergy projects have embraced a growing circle of dedicated fellowships. This year, we awarded our 47th recipient with a Community Capacity Builder Award. And our capacity building training workshops have reached the Caribbean, Italy, and Brazil. We've never been more grateful for the support and the endorsements of our funders and collaborators in this endeavor. We all thought uh, that Valley had a great idea of trying to put together and connect folks who were, um, who were funding and folks who were thinking about dreaming big. She's able to bring together the community leaders, the elected officials, and um, the movers and shakers in each borough to bring resources to the community, which is a phenomenal feat. Valerie is working with groups that no one else has touched, small, tiny grassroots organizations, and just giving them the skills and the resources that they need to really just thrive. And so the work that she's doing is just incredible. It is so needed in our communities. Intact is the one that kind of holds the hand of the executive directors and those people who are out there every day providing soup kitchens and dance programs and after school programs. I mean, and Intact is really the group that really kind of keeps those people together. I'm very proud to be part of that. Valerie Oliver Durant is amazing. Um, she just has got a vision, she's got energy, and we just want to thank everyone for coming out tonight and for supporting us and just to continue to support us as we move forward. El Bala is managing partner with Cityology.com, an invite-only social network about donning and going out in New York City that he co-founded with his partners in 2008. For the past four years, Mr. Bala has also been serving as a member with Mentoring USA, and he started a non-profit events company called Laltruist that puts events together with 100% of proceeds benefiting various African and New York City causes. Gail Smith is Chief Customer Officer for Metro Plus Health Plan. She manages a staff of 250 employees, fostering relationships with members, prospective members, providers, community-based organizations, and community advocates. As a community activist, she serves on Community Board 14 in Brooklyn and co-chairs the Education, Libraries, and Cultural Affairs Committee. She's also a board member of the Brooklyn Perinatal Network and the Perkins Local Advisory Board at Kingsborough Community College. Corinne Simpson is a multimedia artist whose career began as a lifestyle writer and then advanced to include photography and jewelry design. Her credits include the Studio Museum in Harlem, Vogue, Essence, and Paris Match. But in addition, she has received the Mary McLeod Bethune Award, the Legends Award, and the Madam C.J. Walker Award from Columbia University in New York City. Reverend Dr. Barbara Austin Lucas is an itinerant elder of the African Methodist Episcopal Church, having distinguished herself for three decades as a missionary educator and evangelist. In 1996, Dr. Lucas founded Women Organizing, Mobilizing, and Building, or WOM, which serves thousands of women annually. In 1998, Dr. Lucas founded the Agape Tabernacle International Fellowship, whose broadcast, Bridge Over Troubled Waters, airs weekly on New York's WTHE, 1520 AM. The Neighborhood Technical Assistance Clinic honors Verizon for its support of domestic violence prevention programs, and specifically for its leadership in Safe Work, a program that supports domestic violence victims in the workplace and Hopeline, which collects no longer used cell phones and donates proceeds to organizations and shelters. Valerie Rainford is a managing director with J.P. Morgan Chase's home lending business. 
but this impressive resume is complemented by a strong commitment to community. She serves as board trustee for Grand Street Settlement, executive committee member of the Black Women for Black Girls Giving Circle, and is co-founder and co-chair of Black Women of Influence Advisory Board. Angela Hollis has held positions with the United Way, American Red Cross, and the New York City Mission Society. But today, she heads the Hollis Group that provides public relations services for nonprofits and small businesses. But her volunteer life is equally full and very impressive. She's a member of the Association of Fundraising Professionals, the Coalition of 100 Black Women, the New York Women's Foundation, and additionally, she's co-founded the Black Women for Black Girls Giving Circle. As development manager for Medgar Evers College, Michael Flanagan keeps close ties with funders and Brooklyn communities. This carries over to considerable volunteer presence. He serves with the American Foundation for the University of the West Indies, the Brooklyn Center for the Performing Arts, Community Works, Harlem Week, Impact Repertory Theater, and McAdemy, among many others. Lisa Anderson is the key component in the Women's Multi-Faith Program at Auburn Theological Seminary, piloting the I Aim Leader Project focused on empowering the leadership of African American women, together with Auburn's partners in this effort. To this task, Ms. Anderson is a devoted and adept visionary. Doris Quinones is the executive director of the Bronx Tourism Council and produces the borough's major events on behalf of the office of the Bronx Borough President. This includes major portions of the borough's famous Bronx Week celebrations. But she's also received numerous awards, one from Attorney General Andrew Cuomo as a public service award, and a congressional citation from Joseph Crowley, and citations of merit from former borough presidents Fernando Ferrer and Adolfo Carrion Jr. The proceeds for tonight's event will provide technical assistance training to five grassroots organizations, and the proceeds will enable the Neighborhood Technical Assistance Clinic to offer free capacity building trainings to more nonprofits during the year. Abyssinian Development fosters economic revitalization, educational, and development opportunities for youth and civic engagement. The Bronx Children's Museum brings literacy, arts, media, and communication experience to early childhood education. Central Family Life Center of Staten Island promotes civic, cultural, and social interaction between youth, families, and community. Creative Outlet Dance Theater of Brooklyn marries classical and modern dance with African American culture for vibrant public school programs. Redeemed Outreach Ministries of Queens is dedicated to bringing Christian service to communities in despair. <laughs>